Hey, I'm Donald Bell from Maker Project Lab, and this is the Mini Strambis Kit. This kit can be found for as little as $15 online. It comes together in about an hour, and when you're done, you get this cool working model of a little Teo Janssen Strambiest. Now, in order to fully get excited about this kit, you need to get fully excited about what a Strambiest is, which is easy. The real things are these awesome, giant, moving, wind-powered sculptures that are made out of PVC pipe. I'll link to a video here that can start you down the rabbit hole of falling in love with these things. After that, you'll want the kit. Now, there are a bunch of variations out there, but this design seems to be the easiest and most affordable to come by. They used to be as rare as hen's teeth, and the only way you could get one was to find this imported Japanese issue of Gakken Magazine that came with a kit and instructions in Japanese. Now, if you can find this, snag it, because it's the best quality reproduction out there, and it comes with a magazine that is so pretty, you can look past the fact that it's in all Japanese. Adafruit stocks this version for $50 and has a link to English instructions. Now, if you're paying less than that, and you're not getting it directly from strandbeast.com, which has a version for around $35 that comes right from Teo Janssen, you're probably getting a counterfeit. And that's okay, I got this one here on Amazon for around $15, and there's a bunch of knockoffs out there, and I'm pretty sure they're all the same bag of parts with printed English instructions. Having compared both products, I can tell you that they're functionally the same. They go together the same, but the parts on the cheap version aren't made as well. I had some slightly deformed parts on mine that didn't affect performance, but they bugged me a little aesthetically. Here's what to know about this build. The parts are mostly injection molded plastic and it kind of all goes together like Ikea furniture. Once you learn the pattern, you just sort of repeat it over and over until you have all the legs, and then you arrange each leg on a frame, you attach the joints, you stack on another frame, and just repeat. For a longer walkthrough of the process from start to finish, you should check out this other video that I made just for you, just for that, just to show you all of it. Uh, I'll also include a link in the notes for this video. Now for me, the genius of this kit is that it all goes together with no glue and no screws. And because of that, you can back out of a wrong move very easily. The joints have all been designed to slot in together in a way that the natural motion of the strand beast won't unlock them accidentally. There's a rubber band that goes across the top of the thing, which you'd think is some kind of wind-up action for the strand beast, but it's actually just there as a simple way to cinch the whole thing together with tension. The last part is just pushing on two plastic gears and the turbine, and then running a short metal rod through it. After that, just prepare to get spittle everywhere as you try blowing this thing across the table. Seriously though, try digging up a small desk fan for some virtual wind, or you're gonna start to resent how much lung power this thing takes. So that is the Mini Strand Beast Kit. It is a fun kit with a great payoff, and it looks really cool sitting on your shelf. Uh, I like this thing so much, I've got on my list of top five maker kits over on makerprojectlab.com. You should check out that list, see the other four kits that I recommend, and uh, you should also subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate that, and that way you can also stay on top of other kits and projects that are coming through the lab. Again, I'm Donald Bell, I'll see you next time.